there's 50 problems that have already emerged that no one has addressed. And some of those problems are, the fundamental problem is how human beings should regulate their sexual behavior. And that's a big problem. And you think, well, and there's an interesting thing that's happening because, you know, the people on the right would say, well, that's easy. It's like, don't sleep around and, and get married and have sex with your marital partner and that'll solve the problem. So there's strictures on sexual behavior and those would be the traditional ones. And what you see on the left is that there's this weird paradoxical demand, let's say, um, that people should be allowed to express their sexuality in any manner that they choose whenever they want, but that sex is so dangerous that it has to be carefully regulated at every single stage of the interaction. And so you know that many state legislatures have now followed the example of university campuses and put it in affirmative consent legislation so that every move you make towards physical intimacy has to be preceded by the instantiation of a verbal contract, essentially. It's like, well, can I take your hand? Yes. You actually, from what I understand, you actually have to say yes. Like, nodding is not sufficient. <laughs> and, so, and so each stage has to be, has to be preceded by affirmative consent. And, uh, you know, which, which, well, I won't, I won't say anything about, yeah, I will. It's absurd. It's absurd yeah. to assume that that's how human intimate relationships are supposed to proceed. And then you have complicated laws emerging that are part of that, that, for example, this is the case in California, as I understand it, is that you cannot give affirmative consent if you're intoxicated. Okay, so you think about that. It's like, well, what does that mean? It means the, that, like, a lot of sex is illegal. has been illegal for a long time, yes. including marital. Marital. Yes, including, that's what it seems like, to mean. On my honeymoon? Okay. Yeah. Well, that is. I'm rethinking it. It, it seems. I'm rethinking it. It seems to me. It seems to mean, and I'm, I'm, I'm not, no, but I'm, I'm, it seems to me to mean the California legislation that if you have sex with your wife or husband and either of you is intoxicated, then you're either one of you or both is guilty of rape. That's what it looks like to me. Actually, I was in a debate a few years ago at the University of Virginia Law School, and I turned to my debate partner and said, so if what you're saying is right, um, two people can rape one another. Mm -hmm. Right. And she said, yes. And I thought, Oh shit! I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, how can that be? Well, that—that's the question. Well, okay. So then I would say, well, it's interesting because I think that a lot of this confusion has emerged fundamentally as two people can rape one another. Mm -hmm. Right. And she said.